Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to this new patrons video today that I'm making for Ghost as part of their custom monthly music review. And uh, we're going to be reviewing a track by an act named Dave Wong titled, um, if we switch over to here actually, I want to talk about something real quick. Because we've got Dave Wang down here um, in the title screen for this. But then if we go up to here... You know, if I make it a little bit bigger for you, we got Dave Wong. So I'm not sure if it's Dave Wang or Dave Wong. This track is Blockade My Life anyway. So it's Blockade My Life translated. And then we're going to listen through this track from start to finish. And we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Let's do our waiting for that to go full screen. Back to the start. Oh, wow. Those tremolo plucks alongside the piano and the harps. Very, very dramatic off the bat. Very dramatic off the bat. Oh, okay, we're starting again. That's fine. That's totally fine. Thank you, YouTube. Really appreciate that in the middle of a review. Oh, okay, now we're really stuttering. <laughs> I'm liking the choir, though. I think that's really pretty. Obviously, it's not particularly upbeat. Blockade my life. A little bit of synth work in there as well. It's, um... Is this a re-upload? Because I'm sensing a minimal amount of dynamic range to this. I'm wondering if there's been some compression for re-uploads. Not that I'm going to judge, right? I'm liking the gongs and the orchestral elements and everything like that. It's very, very tense and very dramatic and theatrical. Nice work on the strings on the... The, vo the vocals are phenomenal. I'm really enjoying the sound of those and I also really appreciate what's going on with those strings on the right side as well and how everything stops at the same time and you get a sense of unison before you kind of repeat. And the little shimmer is there's so many different instruments in this arrangement that it kind of makes it very interesting to um, hear through them all. You know, like there's a lot of interesting sort of developments. Can you sound Yeah, no, there's an interesting tone of those drums there that kind of sound a little bit muffled or filtered. I'm wondering if that's just because of the compression of the audio within this. And there's like a snare sound or something that's filling in for a snare and it kind of da, 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 da. kind of makes you sound like you're running a thousand miles like there's a sense of loss so that you'll never escape <laughs> Is there a chorus on that instrument there? Because that's fun. Oh, we got guitars, never mind. It's almost like this has been commercially bass boosted or something like that. There's a lot of low end resonance. I mean, it's nice to revisit the thing that we had alongside the verse sections earlier as a way of looking back and kind of rounding it out and getting a sense of relative um, consistency. 
really need to print out that thing that um, Jacob made for me, the little list of the different instruments. I need to print it out and put it over there so I have it, you know? dreadful though like what's happening in the video you know i don't typically talk about the videos much and i know otherwise i'm kind of just sitting here going kind of staring like dead-eyed into the camera well i am thinking about stuff at the same time they're, they're just shooting the hell out of these guys and i've seen a few of these videos from like older films and everything like there's a lot of violence in them, you know? really intense and full of dread and suspense I wonder what it's about. Oh. See, I would have thought that'd be a really kind of risky idea because, like, you've got the guy in the front over there pointing over there, you know, the guy in the gray, and then you got that guy over there. You got that guy. Eh, that guy. So if they're like on either side of the guy, wouldn't they risk them shooting themselves if they shot the guy in the middle? That seems like a risky idea, you know? Could just be me. Kind of sounds like an 80s power ballad a little bit, this track all around, with some sort of more traditional elements. Okay, I mean, like, honestly, though, I'm very happy with that track, though. I think it was a great introduction to Dave Wong or Dave Wang's work, and I'm glad to have the opportunity to review more of it. So thank you to Ghost for that. And then we have Blockading My Life. Yeah, Blockade My Life for Half a Lifetime. I'm trying to fit, I think this is probably gonna be the best we can do so that you have both sides of the lyrics over there. We've got Blockade My Life. Blockading myself for half a lifetime just for your enamoring. One more love, one more pain, even more severe. That's interesting. Um, that's so basically you're sacrificing yourself just to be able to have more of that person's affections and, and love. Did the guy get killed in the film because he got too familiar with the woman? Is that the situation here? Or is it like a figurative thing? Like he fell in love with something else, but that got too dangerous. You know what I mean? It could be, I might be wrong, but um, never stop questioning. I'm willing to wait for my most beloved one. No one shall stay in the way of my love. I'm waiting for my love sickness now, but waiting till now. My passion will never overflow in heart, half my heart, love a tearful life. I feel like saying that it's a love song about someone who um, is missing someone else and sacrificing for them is maybe too literal. But then also, what else can I do? Occam's razor is take the most simple solution and put it forward as that is the one that still arguably works there, you know? Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. And this is my conclusion of my review of um, Blockade My Heart. Blockade my life, blockade my heart, blockade my life, basically. This is my review of Blockade My Life by Dave Wang or Dave Wong. Um, what I think this track is about, I mean, we spoke about it in the, we spoke about it in the lyrics time part. We talked about uh, how I think it's about someone who is like trying to sort of like separate themselves, kind of strengthen themselves or like keep themselves only for the other person and not allow it to kind of go away or kind of wither away. They're trying to protect themselves so they can give everything to that other person. I think that when it's in itself is really sweet. Um, we had these lovely uh, performances going on by the vocalist, the singer there, um, Dave. Dave did a tremendous job with the vocals. I think that is, he sounded incredibly clear and nice and precise and in the mix there was there was some like obviously there was some um there was a bit of reverb tails and there were occasional sort of vocal harmonies some doing hold notes others sort of sing in unison with him for a bit of extra size as well as those hook parts but but at the same time i think that whenever you heard dave you knew that you have a great time with with his voice there he's got a great way of uh, voicing himself and expressing himself in a way that's very appropriate to the story it seemed very authentic like he'd gone through that himself um, the chin chest voice were great, solid vocal technique there. The words came through clearly from what I can tell with a limited understanding of the language. 
and um, you know, he knew how to harmonize those vocals as well to work with the best of the mix. There were some interesting ways and melodic sequences there that worked well with the rest of the instruments in the mix, so there was a great chemistry with the accompaniment, and overall I'm very, very happy with that part of the things. Um, the track itself behind the vocals was like five minutes, you know, it was a longer form track. There were a few verses and choruses and like a little mild solo section with some interlude parts and then some other instrumental sections. And I think that they were all wonderful. I, I don't have any complaints about any of them. Musically, they were very, very strong. Like there were issues I had with the tones of some of the instruments, like with the drums, how they sounded a bit muffled. But again, that could come down to the re-uploading and uh, continued sort of like decrease in like the audio quality just by repeat uploads of a, I don't know if this was the first time this was uploaded but also if it came out in 1991 audio quality was different back then it was good but it's not as like exquisite as it is nowadays to the betterment or detriment to the experience for the listener you know sometimes people like it a bit more rough around the edges there's a nostalgic 80s feel to the way that the vocals were done as well with that power belly kind of vibe big voice you know nice little bit of vibratos there holding the notes keeping a sense of sway and persuasion in the track but we also had wonderful things going on again with the strength sections there was like um i mean he doesn't say suona or an urhu or something like that uh, that was going on and playing these interesting melodies to sort of like for, be a foil for the vocals when they weren't there. Um, we had some piano parts and some guitar and sort of other stringed instruments going on the far sides along with the bass and then I don't know if that was like a synth bass or like a bass bass and then the drums obviously on the bottom. The, the tone of the drums was a little bit too thin for my taste. Again, I felt like they were muffled but then there wasn't a lot of bass resonance in some of those tom fits either. It just seemed a bit kind of muddy to me like there was a more of an EQ resonance in the low end than I would have liked but it was still sounded great. The performances were tight. There were no instruments that are out of place. Um, the theme overall the combination of those instruments really did sound like someone was grieving for a loss like someone had actually died it didn't sound as much like a traditional sort of like love song where like you're saving yourself for the for the person as you you're like you're you're accepting that you may never have that person so you will never really let yourself out of that prison you're making for yourself you know you're um, barricading your life um but it's for it's forever basically and that's kind of sad when you think about it but um nonetheless i think it makes it interesting subject material for songs and i think that the rest of the instruments in the mix alongside the you know the vocals they they consisted and coped very well together i suppose most of my issues from this track come from the audio production recording mixing and mastering where i think not only did we have like a degenerated audio quality to the sound but we also had a situation with it when i listened to it where i go um you know i i, I just i just I just think that there was a bit too much sort of low-end resonance there from an EQing filtering perspective. I know that we may want to roar our tone to the instruments, but at the same time, I don't think that necessarily sort of like benefited us. I think that it was just a little bit too thin for my tastes or a little bit too thick sounding and muddy. And that left a, a sense of, um, I suppose, it's a purported disinterest in some of those parts that we had because for me if i hear something clearly i'm going to probably be a little more interested in it and i just didn't hear some of those bass elements that clearly these the string elements like the lead strings and the guitar part that came in and those synths and other bits in the chorus he kind of it, it parts that came in occasionally they were all clearer and it's not like we had too much going around the center of the stereo field it was spread around the sides like with the string parts on the on the sides there we had you know there was wonderful there was like those plucked sort of like broken chord bits we obviously had our panning down and everything like that from a studio perspective i just wonder how much it maybe just had a phenomenal amount of dynamic range when it first came out and it just got redone over and over uploaded over and over and that's where we're kind of at this point in time which is a shame. I understand that these are classic songs that people, hang on a minute. I understand these are classic songs that people like, but they're just not gonna get the same experience listening to them if, if people keep re-uploading them. Again, I know it's difficult to find um, the originals potentially, but it's just the way it is. I think they had some subtitles down the bottom as well that were, I don't know if they were in the language it was originally in. I don't think they were, but I could be wrong. I, I'm not sure, I don't know enough about it. I feel incredibly ignorant right now at the risk of uh, potentially offending anyone further. I'm going to step away from that. All I know is, is that aside from the EQing issues, I like the leveling and the mixing of stuff. Um, it was great. It was nice and loud without pumping, so limiting compression was done well. It did have a lot of dynamic range initially, I can tell, because of the changes in energy between certain bits. It's just, I could tell things were a bit squashed as well. But look, that's effectively my SP Patrons video, my review of uh, Dave Wang or Dave Wong's um, Barricade My Life. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go check out Dave Wong's various social medias. I'm sure they're on YouTube or on other digital streaming platforms. So stay cool and stay safe. Please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next SP Patrons video. Spider hands out. <laughs>